Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Today we've got Mad Rage as uh, China Vanilla in the purple on Tournament Desert. No bugs, no cars. And we've got him against Freestyler as the GLA Toxin in the green at the top. Rage in the purple. Uh, so yeah, this uh, replay is not um, a recent one. So I know both of these players actually were up until recently both active. That said, I think Freestyler has just recently quit. But this replay is at least a year old, so it's not um, it's not like one from the last couple of weeks or anything like that. It is um, it is an old replay. But so I'm led to believe it's a decent one. It's in my uh, my, in my folder of uh, games to cast, as are about 100 other replays. So we're not short on replays. But um, for we haven't seen Rage, we haven't seen Freestyler on this channel for a while. So. Um, about time we cast out a game. We've got an imbalanced matchup. We've got China Vanilla for Rage. And uh, obviously Tox for a freestyle is much, much more powerful. I think he probably could say Rage is the stronger player here though. So maybe that balances it out a bit. But I would still probably give the edge to Freestyler in this matchup. Still think Tox is just so, so hot. Well, two terrorists going forward. If this truck does not get off much damage, that's a really bad build order to start from, uh, from Rage. He does seem to have mines though. And this terrorist will get stopped. But this truck not achieving very much. So that really sets China back a little bit in my view. Because this uh, this supply now has been obviously built for 1500. And it's not really achieved that much at all. Uh, Rage behind us built two supplies. Pretty much perfect supply placement. This one obviously the trucks will move a little bit. Uh, mine's obviously on that supply. And then Flame are going towards the right hand side. Um, and Freestyle are putting on the pressure in the middle with this uh, with this quad and a tunnel building RPG focusing down the supply, but that's going to go down. Rage looks like he's handling this pretty well. To be fair to him, that tunnel is going to go down and there is a flamer on the right hand side. Is he just going to force fire the, um, uh, the oil while he's here? The flame wall? Probably I, I would just do that. You might as well kill it while you can because later on it might be very, very hard to kill. You might have to lo use loads of general promotions to kill it. Uh, mines have been built here, but it's not going to stop the technical and the RPGs taking out a truck. Taking out one truck, got veterancy on the technical. <laughs> Needs to be careful with that gap because the gap probably will go down to that being especially low HP as well. That quad is taken out and Freestyler trying to take out this flame before he gets in his base. He is going to succeed. I think I don't think that flame is going to cause much damage, if anything. It's going to go down and this technical still roaming around in Rage's base. Uh, funnily enough, actually, when I've been speaking to Freestyler in the past, he actually, I'm sure he told me that Rage used to give him tips. I think over a Skype chat or voice chat, I don't know. But yeah, Freestyler um, has received some tips from Rage in the past. I don't know if it was before these games or after or, or whatever. But um, yeah, Rage has been helping Freestyler. Um, and, and actually, if you, if you go back like um, 18 months or two years back, Freestyler used to be... I wouldn't say, it, like, I'd go into the games like feeling pretty comfortable. I'm definitely going to win. I don't think he'd ever beat me in a tournament or anything like that. But nowadays, back, back then, I said if Freestyler keeps playing and keeps improving and keeps being aggressive, he's going to be a super, super good player. And that said, he just in, uh, just in May, was it May? Yeah, May, he came top in Clan Wars, spamming the most games and pretty strong scores against everyone. Like, even going pretty much 50-50 against Google, I think. So, um, it just shows... My prediction was right. Freestyler, um, Freestyler has become a, a decent force to be reckoned with. And here, um, causing Rage some problems. Got to remember, he does have a stronger army here. Rage has done pretty well to get on three supplies. Pretty much stabilized on three supplies. Did lose a truck there. Supply taking a bit of damage here, but that's pretty much pointless. You probably just want to keep, keep running around. But I think he's focusing here, trying to take out this flamer. He's probably... Oh, no, he's not going to lose the technical. He's going to control it. Uh, Flamer goes down. And Tentacle's going to escape. So both players stabilizing, I think. Rage is ahead economy-wise. But it's usually so, so hard to hold this position as um, as China. I mean, if he just pushes with like three, three or four quads and then gets a, re a rebel to clear this building and put some RPGs in there, this whole area can just go down so, so fast. It's so, so hard and difficult to hold. But I mean, as China, you've probably got it. You've probably got to say... You've got to do something strange and... Well, maybe it's not strange, but you've got to do something risky. Because you, you're not going to just beat Tox just by playing two supplies, two war factories, probably is what Rage is thinking. So you, you've got to try and get an economic advantage. And that's exactly what he's done here. Try to get that supply. 
And then I suppose he kept Freestyle busy with that um, Flamer that went down the right hand side. But you see, he should have killed that oil because that Flamer didn't achieve anything. So that's probably, you could say, a mistake from Rage. Uh, this bunker here is going to go down. He needs to be careful of the mines, Freestyle, but the mines are a little bit further back. He probably can kill everything here, actually, and just get out as long as he doesn't push further into the mines. He should know there's mines there because the uh, explosion's on the edge of the building just there. <clears throat> that supply looks like it's going to go down. Rage behind this is dropping down an airfield. Technical take it out there from Freestyler. That wasn't of much use, really, apart from a scout. He's probably seen the airfield, but apart from that, maybe. Is it, has he seen the airfield? I'm not even sure, to be honest. We can actually see, actually. Hmm, he can't see there, I think, unless he scouted it with something else. Because I think when I switch onto his view, he can't he can't see a lot of this. But obviously, he has scouted it before, so he does know this stuff there. I'm just not sure if he knows there's an airfield. But, I mean, he's got mass quads anyway, so it doesn't really that matter that much. Some people like to mix in a few scorpions against China Vanilla. I think it is pretty good. But going mass quads is not a bad idea either. Not a bad idea either. So yeah, Rage is slowly losing control. He's lost his right supply. He's now losing this front. You see what I mean about how just how difficult it is to hold that front base? Uh, the, fr the front supply rather. That is going to go... Oh, he's actually going to save it. Terrorist actually awfully close there to uh, Rage's army. Freestyle is uh, scared here and going back. I think he could actually probably fight this. Yeah, he's going to lose a couple of quads, but I think he can still win the engagement, which he is doing now. That truck's going to go down, and actually he's raging to get... Ah, uh, Rage is going to get inside there. That's not good for Freestyle. He might lose another quad here now. He's going to lose another quad. Maybe even another one. Ooh. Oh, it goes down. Freestyle has lost everything. Quad push here on the right again, but running into a bunker and a flame wall is the last thing you want to do. Freestyle is just putting as much pressure on as possible. Oil capture coming in for Rage. Freestyle has already got his oil on the top right. Palace being dropped down. This is another thing. Remember, um... Uh, I can't remember actually what game it was, but there, there's certain games where people build the palace so close to the, um... So close to the front of their base, and then they just, uh... They end, up, they end up losing it because they've built it so close, it gets scouted easy, it's easy, easy, easier to kill rather than if you do it deep within your base. Obviously, it provides less of a defense, but it's also um, less visible and harder to hit. But if you do it there, carpet and artillery is guaranteed to hit it, whereas you do it deep in your base, possible to pop quads there and stop the carpet. So I always prefer to do the palace nice and safe, but I mean, again, there's pros, like I always say, there's pros and cons to doing both. Obviously, that palace is going to be really hard to move once it gets fortified structure and trying to clear a building. So Helix out now. Clearing this up on the right-hand side. Little push. Flamer is killing Rage's own unit there. Just in range. Ah, that's painful. That's bad for Rage because he should have really just got inside of there. Now now he's actually killed the building. So it's, it's, it's hard to do everything perfectly for um, for China Vanilla. Obviously, because it's the weakest army, you've got to do everything perfect. Whereas Toxin is very, very easy to control. You're just spamming one unit and spamming tunnels. Rage is putting up a really, really decent fight. Helix coming in, and I don't know if that's a bad, uh, that's a bad engagement. Uh, the, the last couple of minutes, or the last one minute here from Rage, has not been that great. He, like, flamed his own unit, killed that building, just flown in with a Helix and wasted it. Everything, everything up to that point was looking really, really good, but that part there was not good. And now Freestyle is level 3. Uh, Rage is also level 3, and no command center placed down from him. He's been spamming primarily units, but he could have carpet and artillery now if it had dropped down the command center earlier. He might actually need that if he's going to stay in the game, to be honest, because all of these units are pushing now. Flame is going to deploy Flame Wall. A few mines hit a quad. One quad has gone down. There's three helixes now for Rage, but at least one of them is empty. That one's a Speaker Tower one. Uh, Freestyle is just in such a strong position. He's dropping down a Stinger in his base to be super safe. He's got a Stinger on the right. He's dropping down a Command Center. Helixes are all going to come in now, and there's not enough quads, and the quads are actually moving. So Rage is going to be able to successfully hold this. He's targeting down the quads faster, but they, they should all repair now anyway. He can actually repair him a little bit faster on the airfield rather than just waiting for the speaker tower. But Rage now needs to drop down a command center, but there's a sneaky worker somehow in the back of Rage's base. I don't know if that worker just walked straight through the middle, or if it's come from the right. I think it just came straight through the middle. But he's building a tunnel right in the back of Rage's base, and Rage can see it, but 
Ah, uh, he does see it. He does see it. Just sometimes it can be in your vision because you just don't expect it. You don't have radar. You just don't, um... You just don't see it right there. The tunnel might actually get up, you know. The tunnel's still going to get up. Rage is not going to finish it. He's going to lose all these RPGs, all the tank hunters. Oh, man, that's painful. Oh, that's painful. Just take out the worker. That's in the consolation, but he's losing loads of tank hunters. Rage is going in the base of freestyle now. He's going to try and kill this oil, but he could have killed that earlier with that flamer, with the flame wall. Uh, oil now going down. He's got one Gatlix and one Bunkalix. What's that one? That's just a nothing. <laughs> He's got no upgrades on that one. That's just a uh, that's just a Helix with a with a little gun on the front of it. This is a decent engagement here for Rage. Now this is exactly what he needs if he needs to stay in the game. Bounty kills one Helix and gets the money from it with the bounty. On the left hand side, the Scorpion's going to go down, and the Rage's base is getting ravaged in the supply line. I'm not sure what the hell is going on there. I think the, the bunker licks has gone down. And Rage has got an empty licks there with absolutely no upgrades at all. Rage only on $325 and he's actually got big attack in his base. I imagine he's going to need carpet to save this. Because uh, these helixes alone... He does have four helixes out now. And because the gat one, it can shred the quad so, so quick. But the, the quad target in here wasn't the greatest. That helix could have gone down sooner. Rage does manage to clear it all up. That's amazing. And now the command center is going to be built. Another quad being popped. And Freestyle is just losing all of his units one by one. Maybe he... Sh oh, actually, with the with the RPGs, it will take out another Helix. That's painful for Rage. Wants to save as many Helix as possible, really. He could even vet up these Helix even a little bit more by killing some of the Rebels. Okay, so he's got some veterancy on these Helixes now. So that, that one's on vet two. That's still on vet, uh, vet zero. Or no veterancy, rather. That's probably more the correct term. Rather than vet zero. <laughs> okay, so here comes the support powers of Rage now. Mine's on the right. Stop any drops. Uh, sorry, any uh, any um, pushes down the right hand side, I mean. And a carpet and artillery are going to take out the arms dealer and the supply. They're just too close together. It means they can get both of the kills there. So Freestyle is not in the greatest of positions now. He's lost a lot to them helixes. And now Rage is three star. He's going to be bombarding it, uh, freestyle every couple of minutes. But freestyler should have... Um, well, he's got the bounty. Don't know if he got the rebel ambush or not. But that would be useful for taking out any ground units. So, game going to stabilize a little bit. Helix is still flying around looking for any free kills or workers. I suppose a worker is a free kill. Looking for anything he can kill. Two tunnels up there. You probably don't want to push that. Especially with two empty helixes. Just a Gatling cannon alone is not going to quite cut it, I don't think. <clears throat> so Freestyle is just kind of sitting back for the time being. I imagine he is just... Well, just rebuilding his supply. And then he's also probably just filling up his tunnel with quads... Waiting for a bad move from Rage so he can take out some helixes. And every helix he takes out, remember, he's going to get the bounty. So I don't know if he's on 10 or 20%. I imagine he's probably on 10 or 20% at least. Because I haven't seen any Rebel Ambush. So um, usually that means he's got at least like a level 2 of the bounty. Flamer does go down there. Bit of a waste from Rage. Rage likes flaming his own stuff. Could be a bit of a lag in the game though. You never know if there's a bit of a lag. Did flame his own dozer a little bit there. Dropping down a bunker in the middle. Helix is going to come in now on these quads, and the quads are all moving again. This is bad uh, by Freestyle, bad control. He keeps moving the quads as the helixes are flying in, when actually what you want to do is just keep the quads stationary and just let them shoot. Because when, when you're moving, they do less damage. They do a lot less damage. I'm sure it's like, it feels more more like 25% of the original damage. When, when they're moving, they don't do even, it feels like they don't even do half as much. Uh, Mad Rage now expanded to a supply in the middle. Carpet coming down, and that worker is 100% doomed. <laughs> Actually, it's escaped for now. Barracks going down. The two tunnels are cleared. That worker is going to go down now, I think. Is that worker going to go down? Technical coming down the middle. Out of all the things, that worker randomly survived. 
Tentacle coming through the middle. Working now dead. This tentacle is actually going to go for the oil kill, I think. But are the Healy's going to stop it? Uh, one kill, two killed. Yes, yeah, so only one detonated. Didn't cause uh, a lot of damage at all, really. So yeah, Rage still on the oil. He's also on the middle. Freestyle is also in the middle, though. And uh, Rage is doing an annoying flame wall here. Rebel Ambush has got inside of there. Uh, inside of this building. <laughs> Crazy range there, trying to shoot the uh, trying to shoot the dozer that was just escaping. The Helios should be able to just come in and clear that up. There's one random quad from Freestyler, but I think um, w with a combination of the uh, of both the carpet and also the artillery and the mines, I really um, I'm struggling to see how Freestyler is gonna gonna pull this back. Obviously, when Rage gets to 5-star, he's only like 700 or 600 uh, XP points away. He's going to have EMP as well. And these quads can just get battered by those um, by those general promotions. So that might not be good news for him. Uh, mines coming in now. That has to be Mines. Because the only other play in that type is the EMP. So those quads are going to get stuck. They have to go back. He's going to need a worker to clear that. RPG is going to try and get inside of that bunker for Rage. Rage is getting all the map control that you need as um, China. This is kind of the position you want to be in. As China Vanilla. Ideally not against as many quads and stingers. You want to be obviously in a stronger position. But this is um, about as good a position that China Vanilla can get against the decent pro um, Gile Tox. With a load of helixes. Oh, one bad move there from uh, Rage. Lost one helix. Decent pop from Freestyler. Catching uh, one helix out and targeting it straight away. This flame is going to go down. So, yeah, with, the, with these helix, this is, they're, they're so fragile. To that amount of quads. Literally, if, you, if, you're, if you're just out of position for one minute, for, not even one minute, for literally a couple of seconds, or even one second, or... Yeah, you, sometimes you can just blink. <laughs> and with, with one of them pops, one, one of your helixes can be dead so, so fast. So you've got to be paying attention at all times. Like, let's say the helixes were there. The quads just pop and instantly one of them goes down. Quads now engage in this bunker that Rage has taken. Not sure... Why that bunker was back to full HP. And Freestyler was not inside of it. Freestyler. He's losing a lot of quads here. Three, four, f three, well, like three or four quads went down, and Rage is now in this bunker. He's flaming that bunker again. I don't think Rage likes that bunker. Quads taking out one flamer. Uh, but they're also taking a lot of damage. He killed one more quad. Ah, uh, this outpost is gonna get stuck. That's going to go down. That's annoying because this building, even though it looks destroyed, it actually your unit still gets stuck on it and still have to go around it and stuff. You can clear it. Actually, here comes the um, artillery and carpet, but the palace actually survives. He probably needed the extra level on the artillery to make sure that died because he's got the fortified structure. And it's got a bit more HP, unfortunately, for Rage. Flamer in the middle now, slowly killing that tunnel. At range, it can just reach it, but it'll really, really slowly die. You know, it needs a worker really behind it just to make sure it repairs back to full. Five Helix is out now for Rage, and Rage has a low power plant. I don't know if he's been using the overdrive on that. Or if he's just um, injured from, from an attack previously. But yeah, it does need repairing at some point. Bunker being dropped down by Rage in the middle. He's also got mines on this one, so really, really heavy fortification from Rage in the middle. Flamer versus quad at range. Uh, one quad might go down. Yeah, one quad goes down with the help of the bunker. And that bunker is actually outranging the tunnel and actually hitting it. Rarely you see that. That must be at the max range for the tank. And it's crazy, crazy range. <laughs> Literally killing the bunker from all the way over there. I wonder if he puts a couple more in it. Will they all be able to shoot? Or sometimes just one can reach? It's a little bit odd. Must be to do the positioning inside of the bunker. But Freestyle has managed to clear out that building the helix is now going to sweep in and the decent target in there from freestyler but i think rage could have actually gone in there being only three quads out but i suppose he doesn't know how many more quads freestyler has got back inside of his tunnel it does have a few no ap ammo from uh, freestyler helix is new now do come in on this tunnel and take the tunnel out Yeah, it's not looking good for Freestyler. 
Helix is still flying around looking for any kills. And this looks like EMP. Oh no, mine's actually, mine's right there. But the thing is about that, when you do it deep inside the enemy base, then the um, the worker can just clear the mines. And the worker is already there, so he's just instantly clearing him. So that's not much use, really. Would have even been better just dropping it randomly in the base and hoping like a sneak attack. Um, army will just run into it. Carpet coming in. Actually, I think he's done the mines there to stop any pop when these helixes. So that's planned out, I think. Uh, the gamma upgrade has caused big, big damage to that helix, but loads of the map control for freestyle is getting cleared. I'm really struggling to see how freestyle is going to pull this back now, unless he does some amazing damage to these helixes. It's all about these helixes, but I don't think there's enough quads. And that even if uh, freestyle just sits back in his base and bunkers up, Rachel's has more of the map and more, more uh, control in the middle. Uh, he has more of the supplies, so oh, the mines here—that's painful. Every quad at this point is so, so valuable. I mean, he's mined out in his main base. So the Helix is just going to come in now. He does have the Gamma upgrades. So that increases the damage on the, on the Stingers by an insane amount. I can't remember what it is, actually. I don't know if it's like 100%. It's something like 100% or something crazy. 70%, 60%, something, something crazy high. The Rebel capturing uh, the supply of rage in the middle. But yeah, it is all just about the anti-air now for Freestyler. He's going to sit back in his base. But even if he does sit back in his base, and even if rage mines out all of this in the middle, then it's just the constant bombardment of the artillery, the EMP, the mines, the carpet. Just, just those four things cause so, so much damage to GLA. And every quad that gets picked off here is not going to be able to be replaced. So he's just lost another... It looks like three quads. That's the third one going down. Freestyle has only got now four quads. So yeah, this is looking like a total um, control for Rage. Freestyle is going to need to do something amazing now. Uh, Anthrax bomb or something like that, but he doesn't have a CC. He's only got these few quads in the middle. Doing a little bit of a push to see what he can do. He's going to take out maybe an outpost, but the helixes are all going to come in now. And this is pretty much the last of the army for Freestyle. One helix does go down. But all of the quads go down, and I think Freestyle... Yeah, Freestyle will just get overrun now. He knows it in GG's. Well played to Rage. You that was a decent build order in the beginning. Well, like I said, it's always a bit risky, um, but it did pay off for him in the end. But even though he did lose control of it in the mid-game, but then he then he took it back um, towards uh, towards later on. Yeah, so it's always hard as trying to vanilla, but Rage played that uh, amazingly. Despite he made a couple of errors throughout, I think he could have flamed the oil. I think his mine placement... Um, I know the mines were actually decent in the end. Um, it's just a few bad engagements kind of in the mid game when he just randomly flew that helix in um, and when he flamed his own unit and flamed that bunker and stuff like that. But apart from them, a couple of mistakes. Um, I mean, we're nitpicking. This is one of the uh, Zero Hour's best players. So um, yeah, really well played to uh, Rage. Money collected. Pretty much the same, but Rage collected a little bit more. That'll be expected because he did have control of the middle or was collecting more from the middle. I'm not sure if he had his oil earlier. I think Freestyler had the oil earlier actually. Units lost loads more for Freestyler, but I mean, that just shows you that's what China has to do to win. <laughs> I mean, let, let's say Rage only destroyed 100 and Freestyler killed 85. That's probably not enough for China Vanilla to win. Where if it's a mirror, obviously, like if it was a Tox mirror, you would expect the guy that destroyed 100 to win. But just shows you the, le the length that um, China Vanilla has to go to. It has to be something like that. You have to have an amazing player as China Vanilla to um, to win because it's just so much weaker than Tox. So really, really well played to Ray, showing you how China Vanilla is meant to be played and decent attempt by Freestyler. But like I said, I think um, this w replay w was maybe around at least a year old. So maybe Freestyler wasn't at his max then, but recently he is at his max. But I think as of just a couple of days ago, he actually as of Sunday, so yeah, yesterday, he has um, he's quit Zero Hour for, for at least a while. I imagine maybe now the lockdown is coming or being eased, I wouldn't say coming to an end, but at least being eased, maybe he's going back to work and wants to take a break from, a break from zero. I remember he did get kicked from the World Series after after spamming almost a 1,000 games in um, in the month of May and coming top on Clan Wars. Um, Shea did kick him out on um, uh, the first round in the World Series. Uh, so it just shows that you can spam all the games and you want, but if you have an off day on the day or if the armies don't favor you or whatever, um, anyone is still capable of taking you down. But uh, really, really good effort for Freestyle. And I'm good to, glad to see him um, 
massively improve over the last couple of years and just shows you can go from being like an average averagely semi pro player up to mixing it with the with the the big pros and stuff so, so yeah gg's well played to both players especially rage gets the win this time let me know in the comments what you thought of this replay did you enjoy it do you think rage uh, made any more mistakes or made any mistakes at all how how could freestyle have turned this around let me know in the comments like this video if you enjoyed this replay gg and i'll see you in the next video